All right, y'all, we in the building. Roll the intro! Another one, it's another one, and another one. What's poppin' y'all? We are back with another video. If this is your first time here, click that subscribe button. It's somewhere down there. Stop what you're doing. Click that subscribe button right now. And make sure you like the video. Like, do that before anything. Like the video, y'all. Stop. Do it right now. Like the video and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss the next time I drop another video because, I mean, you don't want to miss all this. Don't even put yourself through it. Just go ahead, subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. Just go ahead and do yourself a favor. But, y'all, anyway, um, so I'm so sorry I'm so late giving y'all this video. I literally uploaded this video, not this one because I did it yesterday, and YouTube blocked it. And I think they blocked it, y'all. I know they blocked it. They said it was copyright. Um, they blocked it because while I was talking, I had, y'all know, I keep my receipt screen and I'll be right there in the middle. While I was talking, the video from the BET Award performances, they were playing a little bit when we talked about each one. So um, I guess I can't do that right now. I can't do that. I can't do that right now. And um, hold on. People want to call me while I'm filming. Hold on. Um, recording, recording. I'm going to call you back in 20 minutes. Okay. My bad, y'all. So, yeah, they went ahead and blocked it. But, I mean, listen, you can't keep a player down for too long. We still going to go ahead and we going to chop it up about the performances. But I just can't show y'all any visuals to go along with it. So, um, y'all, our girls, the, the girls, the girls. Perform was it just me or was BET like all women performers this year and only a couple guys? You know, they sprinkled the guys in there. I don't know. But you know, our girls popped out. Um, so we had Lotto perform. Lotto did two performances. Uh, she did an Usher tribute as well. We had Glorilla perform. We got Ice Spice who performed. And by the way, Ice Spice, she looks so good in that orange dress with that um with that orange wig on the carpet. She looks really good. She's starting to Elevate. We'll talk about that a little bit more too. And then uh, making a side and perform, and you know, big sexy perform. Um, so let's start off, y'all. Let's talk about Glorilla's performance. Okay, so Glorilla did a had an okay performance. I wasn't wild or anything. Yeah, she came from out the sky. Um, you know, Glorilla is having a moment. Um, Glorilla is having a moment. And, um, well, another moment, I should say. You know, Glorilla, the TGIF is charting right now. I think it landed at number, it landed inside of the top 50. So right now, Glorilla got three songs charting. She got the um, the TGIF. She got the Yeah Glow. Yeah Glow is still on the charts. And she got the wannabe. Glorilla is doing her thing. Was she my favorite performance of the night? No, but she did still have a good performance. She really did. And y'all, by the way, BET got a little coin because everybody had a really nice set. I don't know if y'all noticed that. Everybody's set was really nice. Like, it was giving, like, production. Like, they were, I'm sorry, like, in the MTV, the VMAs, don't have nothing on them sets that I just saw at the BET Awards. Like, you could tell they've come into some coins. I don't know what acquisition they done did over there, but BET has come into some coins. So, everybody's set was really good. Um, so, yeah, Glow really did a good job. Um, Meg Thee Stallion, I wasn't really, she did a good job too with her performance. Meg is a great performer. She didn't gag me though. I wish, um, we could have just got something. Maybe she could have came out in a long trench and then so ripped off and went into her other little number that she got on right now. I just wasn't wild by, um, you know, I really wasn't wild by Meg's performance. Meg is a great performer and she did a really good job. I just, it didn't gag me or anything like that. Um, for you to have an album that just came out. I just wanted some type of, I wanted you to go in your bag of tricks or something. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But I think it's very commendable that Megan Thee Stallion was still even able to do this performance with her being on a tour right now. So um, she, did a, she did a good job. So shout out to Meg on her performance too. Uh, but I just wasn't gagged. And I just would have liked to be gagged. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with a little gaggery. You know what I mean? Um, so she did good. So Sexy Red. Get it? Sexy. Get it? Sexy. Sexy Red had a good performance too. Sexy Red had a really good performance, actually. She and Sexy Red did what I would have wanted 
Megan Thee Stallion do. We got two outfits, some sexy red. She came out of her little, uh, you know, a little red negligee with her microphone. Give me the ooh, baby. Baby, I love you. You my everything. And she had her little, um, she had the little, you know, uh, what they call uh, Gladys Knight and the Pips. She had her little sexy red and the Pips right behind her. And they was doing their little... It was it was just cute. It was really really cute. And then when she had went to her other songs, you know she was at the top of the podium and everything. I like Sexy Red. She had a good performance. She had the guys down there dancing. It went it went along with her theme of her album too, just like Megs did. Great performance. Um, Ice Spice. Ice Spice had an amazing performance, y'all. I was pleasantly shocked at Ice Spice's performance. It's no shade. I was really shocked at her performance. Not gonna lie. Um, she did good. She did good. Ice Spice did good on her performance. That was Ice Spice's best performance, actually. If we just gonna if we just gonna say that, that was Ice Spice's best performance. Um, that just is what it is. That's Ice Spice's best performance, honestly. That's her best. Um, however, <laughs> y'all know I gotta tell y'all the truth. I do think it's too late for that, though. I think what we wanted. Um, I Spice, what she's doing now, we wanted to see that from her last year. You on your way out now, girl. It's too late to polish up now. I mean, well, it's not too late because, you know, life is all about elevation. So you still, but you know what I mean? Are we, do we really care that much now? Because, you know, like, I do think that, and I still do like Ice, even though she's been doing a crazy, she's been getting on my damn nerves with, you know, the stuff she's been doing. But, um, she cool or whatever, but, yeah, um, it's, what uh, makes that your time up? Why is you not clocking out? I do think that Ice Spice is it's a wrap for Ice Spice. Um, not a complete, but it's it's almost there. It's 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 dwindling down. And so this performance was amazing, but it's too bad that nobody really cares because you kind of bubbling down. We wanted that last year when it was just you came out just patting the wig, uh, ah, like blah. Uh, with the money in the chain, like we 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 wanted this level up last year, and it's kind of like okay, um, now it's kind of giving like okay, you had a good performance, you're doing what you're supposed to do. I mean, you should be having a good performance because you know it's like you're flopping. So anyway, and and that's no shade to Ice Spice, but I'm just saying it's kind of like um okay, it's kinda, it's not a really a gag. I feel like had Ice Spice did this performance last year, we probably would have gagged. But I think it's because it's just. You know, she's fizzling out. So, y'all, then Lotto. Okay, so, y'all probably not going to like this, but have I ever gave a damn, y'all? Lotto had the best performance to me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Lotto, Big Mama. My bad. Not Lotto. Big Mama had the best performance to me. It's no shade. It's no tea, and it's definitely no shade. Lotto had the best performance to me. I saw some people were saying snooze fest or uh, it was a boy. No, it was not. And people who say that and who think that, I honestly think, and everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but y'all don't get it. Y'all don't get what a performance is supposed to embody. When Lotto started her performance or whatever, her lay out on that couch with that fur coat on, it was giving... I'm that bitch energy. And, and you know what it was giving? No shade. It was giving like I'm one of the leading girls and I'm here to stay. Lotto exudes this um this confidence. We I've always told y'all this. I don't know what it is about Lotto. And and I think that's why I like Lotto. Even though like I get on her, yeah, her songs do be boring or whatever. Lotto can rap. But one thing about Lotto, Lotto, she she exudes this confidence and I do think that with Lotto exuding that confidence, she she carries herself like a confident woman when she's rapping. You would think Lotto had Grammys on the mantle at home. You would think she had uh, MTV. You would think she had 50 Grammys on the mantle at home. And she had 25 VMAs. And she was just this, this female rapper with all of these accomplishments and accolades to her name. You know, she has a couple. We're not taking away from any of that. Um... And, but I like it. It's very braggadocious. You know what I mean? It's very like, yeah, I'm that bitch. You know what I mean? So I like, y'all, I like it. I like it. And 
with her laying on that couch for me in that that fur coat, it was giving old money. It wasn't giving, you know what I mean? It wasn't giving like, oh, I'm just, I just came into some money. It was giving old money. They came up to her, the way they slid that bracelet on her arm, and that one lady handed her that wine glass, and she said, "You hoes sick in the head. Y'all need to go to therapy." And she and she said, "Um, I'm trying to decompress in Turks with aromatherapy." Like it was just giving very seasoned. I don't know. And let me tell you why. Another reason why I think Lotto had the best performance because out of all the female rappers that performed, Lotto was the only one that got up there. And um, first of all, I felt like her performance was memorable. And then she did not get up there rapping about her. Her. She um she did eventually. Well, I shouldn't say she didn't. She got to it. But the way that she started it all, I love how she that's a performance. I feel like you started off so like I kind of have sexy red to hers too. But Lotto started off, it was something of substance. She was the only one up there for me as of the out of the female rappers who got up there and did a performance and rapped something of substance. Then she got to, you know, the freaky rap when she did the Big Mama and then, you know, she did the Sunday service and everything. But for her to kick the show off with that, which it sounds like it's the intro to her album. I really do. And I'm almost for sure it is. That was something you're going you're gonna to remember that. And she slowed it down and it was different from what everybody else was doing. All the other rap girls got up there. It was kind of like giving ratchet. She got into the ratchet later on, but she started off slow and she she worked you into it and i love how her songs mashed up too how it switched in the mashup to all her songs and everything too how it went from you know uh the big mama and how it just mashed into the sunday service it just was good and then she had her um her she had these two little girls or whatever up there playing her and her sister or whatever from back in the it just was her performance she had the best performance to me it's no shade Y'all probably don't want to give it to Lotto. And I get it. And I get it because, you know, we haven't always uh, talked really, you know, nice about Lotto on this channel. We've been honest with Lotto, I should say. But we haven't always, you know, um, maybe we haven't always uplifted Lotto. I should say that on the on this channel and on this platform. And that it, it was never anything to do that on purpose. I just had to talk about what was going on. And if I felt like Lotto was carrying or she was being corny or if I felt like, uh, one of her songs was boring. I had to say that because that is the truth. I will say the truth about anybody. Anybody on this channel. But, y'all, it was something about Lotto's performance that I just love. It's no shade. I do think that Lotto had the best performance. And I think that she actually got up there. Lotto, and I don't mean to say, Lotto got up there. And when she performed, um, especially that first part, uh, it was of substance. It was almost given as if Lotto has been here longer than she has. I would expect that is the way Lotto started her performance off and then went into the um went into her, you know, free rap or whatever, you know, her ratchet songs. That's the way that I would have liked um a more seasoned artist to come, female rapper like a Megan Thee Stallion. I feel like Megan Thee Stallion, why not let us hear something off the new album, maybe one of your sleeper tracks. Where, you know what I mean? You lead us into the ratchet stuff. You just had an album come out, something new, something fresh to the ears. Instead of just the popping and throwing and twerking and uh, 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 slow down. Lotto, to me, her performance, she did a performance that I feel like a seasoned rapper like a Nicki Minaj would do. Where Nicki Minaj would come out maybe singing a ballad or doing one of her serious rap songs or whatever. And then she would lead into the hits and lead into the popular songs. That's how I feel like a Nicki Minaj would have done a performance. Almost like, you know how when she did the... Uh, be amazed and she did the last time I saw you and then she got into the big difference like my hun is blue and then she let that leg out and she took that thing off she kind of worked you into she walked you into it so um big shout out to Lotto I think I just feel like Lotto had the best performance but I want to hear from y'all who do y'all feel like had the best performance out of the girls and when i say the girls i mean the rap girls so lotto we got lotto gorilla ice spice megan Thee stallion and sexy red so i want to hear from y'all in the comments let me know what y'all think about this video make sure you subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel if you're seeing this for the first time smash that like button like do it like right now smash the like button 
and click that notification bell so you don't miss the next time I drop another video. I'll catch y'all in the next one.